What's the buzz? This is Zeta Beetle, and welcome back to the Gag Reel. This time, we are looking at our goof-ups from the final quarter of 2022 and the first quarter of 2023. So basically, late last year, early this year, up to March the 21st, all of these outtakes qualify for this gag reel. So, buckle up and enjoy the show. Greetings, I'm V1D1, and welcome back to Greatest Battles. That's an outtake. Greetings, I am V6S1, and welcome back to Greatest Battles. In this episode, I and many other V6SO units train with Spider-Man Canada in an exercise against moving vehicles. And okay. Maybe don't pause so long on that one. Alright. Try it again. From the top. Let the web no. Right. Oh no, try to get some team one. Okay. Alright, here we go. go. Hello. Machacha, follow us. Manche Nacho. Yeah. Uh -huh. The new guy. Okay, so you need to get this weapon. Yeah. Dragon spread shotgun's the best. Ow! Ah, <laughs> Stop it, Spidey. You can burn us on fire. So <laughs> Spidey, you burned the whole army! Spidey, he's... he's messed up. Spidey! Help, do I get help? I'm climbing. Do I get help? Help! 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 Yeah. Spidey, you really had to do that. Yeah. Oh no, don't, don't destroy the plan. Don't, don't destroy the plan. Oh, no. Well, I, at least I have flow. Do it destroy the players. To get press the opposite button of the shoot button, you can destroy the players easily. Your opposite of the shoot button, okay? Stop! Then do what I said. See? Wow! Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's all, all the way down just to see all of you. Ah, fire! Oh, no, okay, fire. that one. Okay. Don't okay, get you surviving this. I need to go in the middle. <laughs> no, right. bro! No. Ow, you need to go in the middle. Are they already Somebody falling into. apart? Then this retrieval mission will be all too easy. Wait, Twiggy, oh, we don't have man. infinite ammo. Wait, we don't have infinite ammo, Justin. Okay, hold on a minute. There's ammo vending machines, there's ammo vending machines. Yeah. But do you want infinite ammo? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, we might need a better source of heals. Okay. Yes. Right. Um, <laughs> I, de I destroyed the whole armory. <laughs> yeah, I just have to roll up. All right. So Wait, I was we until up, we asked for all those extra things. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Our spitty ad asked for unlimited ammo, and I asked for eels. Spidey, stop it. Stop putting stuff on fire, Spidey. <laughs> Spidey. Right, anyway. Spidey! <laughs> <laughs> How did you kill my chachos? You put the stuff on fire. Everything on fire. <laughs> okay. Alright, let me see um, uh, what that to one uh, item placer uh, looks like. Because uh, currently I don't like what it looks okay. like uh, from the creative menu. 
Oh yeah, it's Heidi, I got a... Um... <laughs> Excuse you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I wanted to kill Jester. <laughs> doing a draw all the time. Maybe we should break the building that fast. I cannot infinity blade or the dragon bread socket. Right. Okay, Sice, here I come. Okay, let's see what we got down here. Before things go to... Okay. I knew that was looking stupid. Why did that uh, item placer do that? What's the buzz? This is Zeta Beetle, and welcome back to TGIF. In this episode, I'm going to be setting enemies and structures alike on fire. Yep, that's right. I'm doing the challenge to ignite enemy f players. So, without further ado, let's begin and see what happens when we give them a world class hot foot. Right. You have to Okay, anyway. Any who's alls fourteen fifty nine and fourteen thirty nine. But first Alrighty. Another round of the uh, unvaulted tame rumble. I'm pretty sure this was that's what this is called. Um if it's not then um uh, I don't even know. I can pull off some pretty shining moments and be a tad more aggressive than I could back in um uh, chapter 1. And uh, off the top of my head I could only name off a few uh, chapter one seasons that I actually won in. That happened to be four, seven, nine, and X. Myself, I didn't really play during um, chapter one season seven. That was Marty Jester's. Uh, 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 that was Marty Jester's place, not mine. So. Myself, I have very little, um... I... Give me a minute here. I actually, uh, did, um... I actually messed up a bit.
What? Okay, hold on. Um, this technique that I'm using right here, as opposed to the one that I used in, uh... Ah! Okay. Hold on a minute. Okay. Do that as an outtake. Would be, um... Well, no. This is, uh... Uh, 2022. 20, 23! Bah! Okay, that's another outtake. Hola, Previously on Fortnite Follies, to, the uh, Droid War Saga. Okay. Okay. I guess it's time I took over this commentary Wait. for the next 4 minutes and 37 seconds. We weren't actually... Hold on. A little bit louder, please. CPU or whatever droid brains are supposed to be called. Um... The... Um... Eh. Open. What? Ugh. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Stupid ads. Okay. That's new. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the buzz? This is Zeta Beetle, and welcome back to. Again, how do I keep forgetting the name of this doggone series? <sighs> Let's go again. Seven seconds to notice I dropped him ammo, but once he does, he picks it up, thanking me in the process. He then attempts to make me float, even though we're low to the ground, so it wouldn't look like I was floating. So I don't know what his logic was here. However, it wasn't my job to question him. It was my job to keep loopers from escaping the island, and to help Gunner do the same. Once the storm starts moving once more, I edit a door into the box Gunner built. Then we make our way to the next predicted eye. To expedite the process, we hijack a whiplash, and Gunner drives it off the icy cliff at full speed. We use the momentum the to cross the lake onto the island in the middle. This ends up killing our momentum, them. so we had to try to get back up to our former speed. Then when that proved impossible, we slowly crossed the lake again, getting onto the main part of the island on the other side. As you may have heard, Shoot. I know the magic number now. 
completely misses the uh, button to press. <laughs> That's stupid. Uh. So don't even start. Anyway, once my shield is up to 100%, I start surveying the town for more threats, and Gunner finds another shield pot I obliged to, replacing my small shield potion. I ask him to hold on to the small shield potion, since I was in charge of the bigger jar, but he already droids. I was the wars division. Not only that, but I was also the only one to survive any test, whether it be in Sky Wars, Survival Games, or Bed Wars. When he returned, he asked if I could drop him AR ammo, so I dropped him medium bullets, knowing that was the closest thing to this car's mission effortlessly. Just outside of said I, Gunner started harvesting wood from nearby trees, getting ready for the fights ahead. As I've mentioned before, so I don't even question his building style. Whatever is effective for keeping our fellow loopers in line is all right by me. Despite the storm to one future eye, the more of a head start we had on the storm, and the less danger we were in once it decided to close in the next 48 seconds. For we're racing against the side of the storm that would be moving the fastest, so we couldn't rest on our laurels quite yet. In a very short scuffle, we eliminated an enemy looper this and ammo, flashes. building materials, uh, and medical supplies they had. Speaking of Scar, the I'm enemy looper's head, and I take it without a second thought. With both of bugs. us slightly mm -hmm. damaged from the fight, Gunner offers to splash us both with chug splashes, which I eagerly accept due to my survival programming. We then searched um, that I had to swap them with some terms of yeah, medical right. supplies <clears throat> with the shield potions. However, he assured me that it was all right, and we moved on, making medical I'm not gonna supplies a high priority on the search list for his oh, sake. Sweet, it is Despite He's having nearly me. knocked himself out, he kept using the dub to propel himself into the next eye. Not... That I put on to, uh, there was a, um, series that I put on to DVD, um, with these, uh, particular clips in it. However, um... At this point, uh, the series is not particularly uh, considered complete because I don't yet know if I um, if I missed out some of the challenges that were in said series. So yeah, that's a uh, yeah, that's kind of uh, the situation there. There's only so much you can do by, um, uh, when you're, uh... uh... Go away, go away, go away. Go away. Okay. I, uh, charge up the shotgun and blast it until it catches on fire. Then... I duck back into the gas station building, and it eventually starts uh, uh, going off like a tea kettle, and then exploding. First, okay, add transition, crossfade, and then add track two. Shoot. Fresh from the success of the, well, fart.
What's the buzz? This is Zeta Beetle, and welcome back to TGIF. In this episode, I'm going to be doing some challenges with a friend. So, basically, you're going to be seeing a lot of episodes with different names than what you might be used to. So, stay on the lookout for those that have nondescript ep titles. That was terrible. And that's uh, uh we just move along. Get killed in the store. Mm. Here in that. So oh, I am on I am on children. I don't know whose rap uh, that is on I the boat. I remember I was playing the floors um, on the game mode and guys nosed I I, <laughs> I don't uh it, the floor is lava mode is kind of uh, an interesting situation. I don't know whether or not I managed oh to win a, uh, a, a season nine. Um, you shoot his fan. I, I don't know whether or not I won a season nine uh, a game mode uh, in um, Shark on Land. Oh, in uh, uh, the floor is lava. But uh, I do know that I won. Well, we can have the weapon that he drops. Poot. Alrighty. In this ca oh. Bah. Well, let's see what it is. Alrighty. Looks like we've uh, got a continuation clip here. This one is to place top 25 with a friend. Well, actually... Hey, genius. The, the best idea to do is to actually see where you are in your notes and on your episode. So, please actually do better. So, uh, yeah. That's, uh... That's how that goes, at least. <laughs> I'm, get to I'm uh, uh, lasering this guy with the, um, the Chimera ray gun. Uh, and... Then I'm heading over here to... Uh... I box him. Hmm. So this guy is building up. I'm not really able to do much about it because uh, the only weapon I have is a Chimera ray gun, which is not that great against vehicles and uh, structures, as it warned me uh, uh, during uh, the chapter. His match. Uh, oops. That did not uh, come out right. <laughs> the buzz this is zeta beetle and welcome back to setting the stage in this episode i start work on well okay whatever Bonjour, Marty Jester here, and welcome back to Setting the Stage. In this episode, I officially start work on the the ship in a bottle project of last time. You will notice a inconsistency here, because due to the fact that this system sometimes skips forward in the clips, 
it will be night time when I actually start work on this project. So, assuming that uh, it doesn't skip forward again, what are you doing in here? let's this get to it. Your day nor series to record. to start off with. Idiot. until it's gone. I make a left turn and fly clean over the show building, and continue on an eastern path back to where I came from. I continue on this scenic route, with inside of a waterfall that Jester, Gunner, and Spirit I would no doubt find stunning. However, I am devoid of any such emotion, so it's merely business as usual for me. I continue with a swiveling flight path, vigilantly searching for a looper to dive bomb, or a vehicle to destroy. However, neither were present at the moment, even as I flew past the blue metal building. Then, out of the corner of my senses, I see it, the enemy plane piloted by a looper I was tasked with keeping on the island. As I said before, I immediately give chase, not wanting to let Agent Jones down and have my privilege to go home revoke. Hold on a minute. I want to uh, do a little bit of last minute correcting, so that's an outtake. In this round, I completed the challenge to reboot teammates. I also seem to impress Jester's friends so much that they invite me to join their clan, whatever that may be. This is solid proof that I can handle whatever loopers come my way, and am in fact a good choice for this Agent Jones to have abducted and enlisted to keep loopers from leaving the island. Anyway, I mistakenly landed on this tree, then take a leap of faith, miraculously landing safely on to the ground honest, in the I process. Really, I, really I then would. move on to search really, for um, weapons, really ammo, medical supplies, and all building materials. In this round, I completed the challenge to reboot teammates. I also seem to impress Jester's friends so much that they invite me to join their clan, whatever that may be. This is solid proof that I can handle whatever loopers come my way, and am in fact a good choice for this Agent Jones to have abducted and enlisted to keep loopers from leaving the island. Anyway, I mistakenly landed on this tree, then take a leap of faith, miraculously landing safely on to the ground honest, in the I process. Really, I, really I then move on to I search really, for um, weapons, really ammo, medical supplies, and all building materials. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. Previously on Fortnite Follies, the droid. Okay. Okay, we're here. Alright. Guys. You Thank you so much for um, uh, talking. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have more uh, outtakes and official takes at this point. <laughs>
Oh lord. <laughs> Player unknown slayers, Mexican breaks the table. Yeah. I'm out of here now. <laughs> What's the buzz? This is Zeta Beetle, and welcome back to TGIF. Nope, that is decidedly not true. Dead gummit. What's the buzz? This is Z Beetle, and welcome back to it. Remember the name of the series, genius. What's the buzz? This is Zeta Beetle, and welcome back to Galactic Swarm Squad. This is to be the final episode of the series, and the one that has the most clips involved. So you may be wondering how I'm going to be able to use these track twos when I have more than 10 clips. Well, Jester has taught me a pretty cool lesson by his, uh, True owl montage. So, I'll ex explain more later. <laughs> What's the buzz? This is Zeta Beetle, and welcome back to Galactic Swarm Squad. This is to be the final episode of the series, and the one that has the most clips involved. So you may be wondering how I'm going to be able to use these track twos when I have more than 10 clips. Well, Jester has taught me a pretty cool lesson by his uh, true owl montage. So I'll ex explain more later. Okay. Which means you are not take go faster than uh, simply holding the button. You like, you know, repeatedly mashing the button as opposed to um, as opposed to holding it down. But I soon came to uh, find out that that only applies to Minecraft and even then only to the sword and any other melee weapon. For bows, in order to accomplish rapid fire, you actually do have to repeatedly mash the button. And uh, in Fortnite's case, um, well, actually, never mind. Um, I just contradicted myself there. One moment. Crap, I wasn't ready. Alrighty, and in this round, I'm going to do exactly what I didn't do in the previous round. And that is to travel distance on, uh, well, that's an outtake. And this happens to be the second longest clip of the episode. And it's a direct continuation of the previous round where we visit to... Uh, uh, okay. Bleh. Bonjour, Marty Jester here, and welcome back to Fortnite... This is a Fortnite series, but it's not Fortnite Follies. Get it straight. And that appears to be all the time we have for today. Join us in the next episode when we show off the sniping skill. Hold on. I do have the right voice on there, right? Which is still accurate, seeing as how... 
it's the abduction site at uh, Slurpee Swamp. So, it's not that it's wrong, it's that I'm withholding a little bit of information. You know, that type of deal. Well, I guess I'm not really uh, uh, withholding information anymore, seeing as how I just flat out told you exactly what it was. So, yeah. Now, with that done, I can begin. A uh, real world song. I'm going to mute it anyway, even though. Because. Anything aside from Party Royale is generally a landmine. It is generally... Yeah, um... At this point, I am the only one that can hear these songs. I will have this muted for you, and it will show you why it's muted. The uh, next to... Uh, uh, the next clip's uh, over. Well, the second to last clip, actually, is not going to explicitly state why it was muted in the first place. It's just going to cut off the audio because I don't... Actually, you know what? Hold on a minute. Um, eh... Uh, I assure you... <sighs> Stop going so long! Bonjour, Marty Jester here, and welcome back to Greatest Battles. In this episode, I am testing out the Mark V Iron Jester armor for the first time. This is declassified footage from the Chrome Army project, which unfortunately I soured on due to the fact that it literally took control of me. So, without further ado, let us begin. Okay, try it again. <clears throat> Once again, show off the gameplay from the villain's point of view, including an... Uh, hold on a minute. Once again, show off uh, the gameplay from the villain's point of view. Hold on a minute. Once again, show off the gameplay from the villain's point of view, including an Escher's relatively reference, uh, relativity, bleh. Stop tripping over your words. And that seems to be about it for this gag reel, but don't you worry any. As usual, I will have progress on the second quarter 2023 gag reel, because, let's face it, if you're in the world of show business, getting an outtake is about as inevitable as Thanos says he is. So, yeah. Anyway, in the meantime though, thank you so much for watching, we hope you enjoyed, and we will see you all next time. Until then... Adios, amigos.